Hi everyone, this is Cloud Making. Uh, I'm just making a quick, quick video, hopefully a quick video, uh, showing you guys how to use my new program called Autochrome 2. Uh, it's an upgrade from the Autochrome browser which I've made before. So the link this time is Cloud Making slash Autochrome auto underscore chrome underscore 2. Uh, it'll be in the description below as well. I'm going to do a quick demo for Windows and Rarible uh, and maybe like a quick setup guide as well. But please go through the README file. It has all of the instructions. Uh, it also has my old video as well. I'll update that after I finish this video. But as you can see, the requirements are Windows and Mac. So I've uh, I've implemented Mac support and Linux support. I think I just haven't tested out the Linux support yet. So it should, in theory, work with Windows, Mac, and Linux now. Uh, you need you need Python three or above. Uh, you need pip and you need Chrome browser version 90, 96 plus or 96 uh, so yeah we're just gonna follow these instructions uh, and the main thing is just to go to code press download zip extract it and you will end up with something which looks like which looks like this uh, I wouldn't move anything from out of this folder this chrome profile folder is empty currently because we haven't initialized the thing yet but it will do that the first time you press the open browser button uh, so essentially you click on it and there it is uh, make sure you do uh, make sure you, once, once you have this make sure to shift right click on windows open in powershell and essentially what you're doing is just putting this command right here copying this and pasting it here and then just press start I already have selenium installed that will basically install you selenium from this requirement file I already have it installed so I don't need to do it but you guys should do that before starting because it does need that or it will crash uh, also make sure your Chrome browser is updated as well because it will use the latest one um, all the Chrome drivers are already here so you don't need to worry about that so the first time you, you open this and press open browser it will make you a custom pro, uh, Chrome profile here uh, I already I have my own version of this script here so which has a Chrome profile here already as you can see there's quite a lot of stuff in here um, so we'll I'll start my custom one and I'll do open browser and that will open up my version of the Chrome browser just gonna so I do find that it's very helpful to have two screens two screens if you're doing this is a lot more it, it works a lot more like stable it's, it is a lot more stable uh, but yeah so today I'll, I'll be going through a rareable demonstration uh, for this script because I have been asked for it online and and on YouTube in my last video uh, so the the presets that come with this script are in this folder right here so these are the three presets you will you'll come with I do have to, to clarify that these presets are just there as examples to give you guys some exam example code so you guys can make your own presets uh, I do have to clarify this because some of the codes in there do when when certain websites update their code or UI some codes might change so you will have to know how to do this but essentially what this what this is sorry what this is it's basically a uh, no setup selenium for uh, preset builder so essentially you can write all of your selenium python code in here and not have to worry about setting up the browser setting up all of your settings it does it does all of that for you so for example actually let's just go through the demo so here I will open I will open up the rareable preset that comes with the script which is right here uh, Okay, so in this case, as you can see, so basically you don't just have to use Selenium code in this. Uh, you could use basically any, you could basically run a run a whole Python script inside this. And if it has to do with the browser, it will it will do stuff in the browser. If it doesn't have anything to do with the browser, it will just do stuff here. Uh, but yeah, so I don't really know how to categorize this this software in specific. But anyhow, this is the this is the rareable preset. It, it's already set up uh, if you want to use it you'll have to fill in all of these variables so first first of all we'll, we'll, we'll put in the parenthesis let me just log into my MetaMask 
So once you once you open your browser, add in the extensions, uh, log into your whatever you need to log into, and if you close it, it will basically remember everything because you're making a custom Chrome profile and saving it. Uh, and so basically, this folder over here. Whenever you update this script, you can literally just take this folder and just replace it with the one which comes with the script, and you, your Chrome profile and your settings will all be saved. So you don't have to set up. Uh, MetaMask or whatever all over again and it'll keep you logged into things if you're logged into things so yeah let me just let me just log into this uh, we'll go to rareable uh, I've I already have some stuff uploaded I was testing out this preset uh, so we'll just quickly check what number we're on we're on number 44 so you accidentally uploaded these twice but oh well uh, also if you guys want go bid on it rarebullcom slash cloud making uh, go bid on stuff I'll, I'll accept your guys bids uh, or if you want to support me or whatever uh, but yeah you don't have to uh, well anyhow so this is the this is the thing so this is basically essentially what we have to fill in now I have it I have it set to rarebullcom slash create because that's pretty much uh, it, it pretty much just goes to that there is no add item or create button because we are not really working with a collection here uh, but you can set it up to do that. Like you should go through all of these. Before I actually do start with this, I do have this readme file here, which shows you the custom functions that I've made. Uh, this link text .key might not work. I'm still testing it, but all of the other ones still work. So you can very easily go to addresses, put CCS codes or export codes and like put in keys or click them. Uh, and those are the ones I usually use for the presets, but you don't have to use these. You can literally just use uh, pure Selenium Python code. Uh, okay. So, um, we're 44. I'm going to change this start number to 45. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go to my folder with my pictures in it and, and double check that I still have stuff in there. Okay, so there's 45 and 49. Okay, so we'll upload. Wait, what? 49. That's odd. Uh, okay, so we'll upload five. So there's the upper amount. So you have to change the upper amount. If you just want to upload one, change that to one. Or if you want to upload five, you change that to five. So last time I checked, this preset works. Uh, now remember to make this Chrome window as big as you can. And that's why I said it's good if you can have a second screen for this. It will run a lot smoother. Uh, and obviously, do look at these other variables if you are using these presets. So there's the loop price. Uh, in this case, we're not using the loop price uh, because we're just going to leave it to open for bid. So if you want to if you want to change it to timed auction or fixed price or open for bid, you can change the text here uh, to change that. Uh, and the title is just hashtag and I'll just put the number in front of it. The loop price we're not using the format is PNG. Make sure you don't put a dot in front of it. Uh, and there's a loop description and royalties 10 percent cool. Okay, so I'm just going to press start and we'll see what happens. Now, it's like I don't mind running into bugs with this script. Again, as I said, these presets are just there as examples for you guys to just get an example of what kind of code you can write in this uh, and basically make your own presets. Uh, I would very much urge you guys to actually do edit your presets and you can go to file and save them as well for future use. Uh, and I, I, as you could tell, in my personal folder, I have like five or six different different ones. Uh, so yeah, and you can actually, you can actually even, uh, you can actually. So in OpenSea, you can add properties to your to uh, to your NFTs. You can program those in. I have tested it out. I got a commission from someone to, uh, I got a commission from someone to basically make them a custom script. Uh, and uh, I did actually make it for them. The reason why I haven't made a preset for it yet is because obviously properties are very integral things to the NFT. So it's like sometimes somebody might be using an Excel file or someone might be using like a JSON file. So it's like you would have to know how. So, so essentially I can't, it's, it's, it'll be quite hard to build a preset for that. You would have to sort of code it in depending on how you're saving your properties and so on. Um, in this step, so the script is working fine. As we just saw, it just went to the second piece. We're doing five uploads uh, and it's working fine. Just make sure you guys uh, up, 
just make sure you guys have the latest version of the repo uh, if you are upgrading make sure to just keep your Chrome profile safe and just swap it out so you do have to relog it into everything uh, but yeah the script seems to be working fine that last step you just saw the first MetaMask sign I have it set to 30 seconds wait because sometimes it takes quite a long time because it has to go through the upload and the mint uh, it takes quite a long time to show up and there's no way to wait for it to show up so I have to uh, I, I've hard coded it in as 30 uh, I'll show you guys where you can change that number depending on how fast your internet is so basically you have to wait until it uploads and it goes to the mint stage so as you see there now it could very easily crash if my if my internet goes down and upload doesn't finish and this window doesn't come up with a sign button below it and the 30 seconds go by the script could very easily crash so make sure you guys adjust that 30 second uh, number depending on how slow your internet is so you can maybe make it 60 to wait like a minute it's in seconds uh, I will uh, we'll wait for this to finish uploading all of them and I will show you guys where it is but as far as I can tell it is working fine it's just I have these wait timers set up between those signs because it's just better because if you can make them faster you can tweak it depending on your internet speed but it's just better to just leave it at that even though it's taking 30 seconds but because everything is automated you don't really have to worry about it um, yeah so it's almost done we're on the second last one as we can see the the script is working perfectly fine uh, I'm actually gonna let it finish uh, this is for uh, Mustafa I think I think I'm, 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 I'm not currently on my phone my phone is actually being used to record this my webcam uh, but yeah uh, he asked he said that this script was not working for him properly uh, as you can see man it's working fine uh, if you have any trouble just let me know just like DM me I can help you just send me a screenshot of what error you're getting uh, and I'm sure I can help you with it uh, but yeah just I would say if anybody's having trouble with it just make sure you have the latest version of the repo which will have which will be in the description below uh, we're on the last one now we will let it do its thing I'm going to record all of this so you guys get a sort of idea of how this goes. So as you can see, I can't, the, the script itself seems like it's crashing, but it's not, it's just working. Uh, you can sort of go, you can go to this window here. And uh, if you do need to stop it, you can press control C on Windows and command C on uh, Mac to basically just uh, keyboard interrupt the script and it'll just stop it. But it won't crash it, it'll, give, it'll just take you back here and you can start it again. Uh, but yeah, we'll just let let it do this thing, um, and I'll show you guys like what like I would personally do to this preset if I was personally using it. I would most likely add in a counter so it shows me what number is uploading and how many it has left, which will show up here in the console. See how it finished, and now it's just that start button is back up again, uh, and yeah. So those are basically, and even if you have a thousand pieces you could just let this run uh, from as far as I know the variable preset actually works is a lot more stable than the OpenSea preset the OpenSea, OpenSea is quite slow as you know uh, and it can it can it is it's very prone to crash actually uh, just just for network issues even but yeah so everything works here Make sure you guys have the latest uh, latest version of the repo and yeah. So the number I was talking about is right here. So this is, I have a note next to it as well. So this is the 30 seconds. If your internet speed is slower, change this to 60 maybe, or just upload one yourself and just see how long it takes for that sign window to come up. Uh, and if that is more than 30 seconds, make sure you add in 10 seconds more on top of it. Uh, even though it's you have to wait a minute for to sign, uh, because you're not doing the work you won't notice it and at least you'll get a lot uploaded uh, but yeah uh, so yeah uh, it all works uh, I would urge you guys to make your own presets uh, if you wanna if you want if you want help with the properties on OpenSea uh, yeah if you want uh, help with properties on OpenSea because uh, OpenSea can have uh, things as well uh, properties on NFTs. Uh, if you want help with that, let me know. I can help. I can help. I already have a preset. Well, I already have one 
uh, preset made which was for somebody else so I can definitely do it I just can't make a preset for it because it's a bit weird as I explained before uh, so yeah that's uh, I'm gonna stop rambling now this is going on for 15 minutes uh, everything pretty much works if you guys have any questions please let me know in the, the comments below I can make another video but essentially make sure you guys read this read me file very very carefully I'll update this video here as well to the to this video uh, just read these instructions seriously if you read these instru instructions you'll be fine uh, these are the the custom functions you could use uh, to mess around in selenium but essentially that's that uh, if you guys do want to support me I have some nfts on this website as well uh, go bid uh, I will accept it if you want to yeah if you want to just support my work uh, but yeah so that's that this is where you download it from and this is the new repo uh, follow me on github and subscribe to me on YouTube like this video and all of that follow me on Instagram or Twitter or wherever actually Twitter is a pretty good place for for you to follow for me I do upload uh, a lot of updates like quick updates there uh, so yeah I'm out if you have any questions I hope I covered everything if you have any questions if I did miss anything let me know in the, in the comments below I will reply uh, as soon as I see it but yeah for now I'm out bye hopefully you guys like this